Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating that positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, y'all. Let's get a universal message. Let's see how you guys are doing on the soul's journey. Let's see what relevant information does the universe has for you at this time. This is beyond the self oracle, so this message will be directed towards you literally. Okay, Pisces, we got life can be hard and life can be wonderful. Which will you focus on? Okay, so that's something you need to ask yourself. Am I going to sit and dwell and focus on everything negative in my life? Which if I do that, I'll keep recreating negative things. I'll keep attracting negative things, negative emotions, negative um, physical experiences. Or will I focus on the positive things and start bringing in the things that I want to see, right? So it's like life is a choice, okay? You can waddle around in your traumas and pains or you can pull the positive things that you learned out of it, right? And live in that opposed to just sitting there being sad, not knowing how to move, not knowing how to come up out of it. So life is about making decisions, positive decisions or negative decisions the yin and the yang the light and the dark you got to find the balance right so pisces that's the energy here that's what the universe wants you to know at this time so let's hop into it let's collect some energy let's collect some energy let's see what's going on pisces oh yes let's just collect some energy for pisces we got the six of wands, okay? This is recognition. This is success. We got the four of swords in reverse, okay? This is, okay, it, it feels like you becoming more successful. You starting to be recognized for what you do, right? But you keep being attacked. You keep being attacked, okay? The more successful you become, the more people attack you. This could be just somebody simply hating on you right two of wands right this is someone planning to attack this is someone you don't see coming right that two of wands you can't see you clearly but you know you gotta move right you know you gotta take some necessary steps forward right and it's going towards that four of swords in reverse so this is somebody who's trying to damage you pisces could be the queen of swords, an air sign, right? Hmm. Somebody with a foul mouth. Want to take down the queen of pentacles. Want to take you off your game. Want to break down your stability. Okay? So, Pisces, you on the road to success. And it's like somebody keep throwing daggers at you. Somebody keep getting in the way of your success here. This is something that somebody's planning to do. Everything they do is intentional here. Very smart person, queen of swords, right? Very intellectual person. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. They want to hit you from the blind side. They, they act like they're your companion. Look at that kitty cat right there. They act like they roll with you. This is somebody you know. Somebody that's close to you, Pisces, that don't want to see you win. Knight of Pentacles, okay? This person is moving faster and faster on their plan here with this Queen of Swords. What is this Queen of Swords planning for Pisces? How is this Queen of Swords trying to break you? Like, what? Through love. Through love, Pisces. This could be a partner that's kind of jealous of you, that don't want to see you win, don't want to see you moving forward. Because look at this Six of Swords. If you notice this Six of Swords, it's going the opposite way, right? The Six of Swords, this going back, right? So this is like somebody don't want to see you successful. They feel like if you become successful, you wouldn't need them anymore. You would turn their back on you. You would turn your back on them. So it's like they trying to sabotage whatever you got going on. They don't want you to be recognized. They don't want you to be great because they feel like if you find your power, if you find your greatness, then you wouldn't need them anymore. And you don't see it coming. 
right? They 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 might talk to you crazy here. Let's let's talk to this four of swords. What is this pain? What it's like you keep getting wounded. King of Wands. Look, they think it's funny to see you emotional or hurt. Hmm. And they constantly do it because this King of Wands is steady, right? Someone who knows how to maneuver through chaos, but I feel like they bring the chaos down on you. This is somebody who could project their energy onto you all the time because they don't want to see you win. They don't want the King of Wands is successful. They don't want to see you become stronger than them, more uh, financially stable than them. They don't want to see you win. Like I said, if somebody close to you, it could be a lover, right? King of Pen I mean, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They they always kind of like got something for you negative, okay? Ten of Wands in reverse. Mm. But they try to make it seem like they not the ones applying pressure. I feel like that reverse psychology, right? I feel like like when you winning or doing well or when something happening for you and you come to your person and you speak on it, right? They try to act like they support you, but in the same time and in the same sentence, they, they give you that negativity, right? And they want you to dwell on the negativity of situations opposed to the positive. See what I'm saying? Life can be hard. Life can be tough. Which will you focus on? So this person wants you in a low vibrational space. They want you to keep being negative. They want you to keep being in your feelings. They want to say things that hurt you or get you upset or um, something that keeps you emotional right they like to keep talking about something you tried to put past you and shit they want to keep you in that space to where you can't be creative where you can't focus on your own success right they want to keep you in your feelings but they act like that's not what they doing oh you tripping you know i'm here for you i support you i'm here with you all the way but at the same time i make you feel so bad when it comes to this two of wands, we got the page of pentacles in reverse. Right? So I feel like this person, they're a companion, right? They somebody that's close to you, right? They want to uh, disturb your vision on what you focus on. They don't want you to be focused on your responsibility, right? They want you on that negative shit. They want you... Right, the Page of Pentacles is focused. They depended upon. All I'm feeling is that this person don't want you to outgrow them, outshine them, become more financially stable, make more money. You know what I'm saying? Than them. They don't want people to see you for who you are because they want to keep you wrapped up in their little web. Right? They want to break down your success. They don't want you to feel good about what you're doing. They don't encourage you. They don't uplift you, right? They just act like they support you, but they not. They the ones who raining down all the chaos in your life, all the drama. Keep bringing up past pains, past hurts, what all they done for you. And you know, just all these things to distract you from your divine purpose, right? They don't want you to take responsibility for your success. Two of Pentacles, okay? Like I said, they want to keep you in your, your emotions. They want to make you focus on things that has nothing to do with your rise, right? They don't want you to get into balance. They, 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 want, they don't want you happy. They don't want to see you win, Pisces, right? Eight of Cups, they want you to walk away from your dreams, walk away from your creative abilities whatever you doing they want you to feel like it ain't worth nothing right they don't want you in alignment with where with your happiness with your success right but let's talk to the six of wands here because it's going in the opposite direction okay the six of wands comes with the uh nine of wands okay it's like no matter how much this person hurts you or try to inflict pain on you, you're not giving up on your dreams. That's not an option. You're willing to fight for what you believe in. You're willing to fight for what you want. And I feel like if they don't support you, 
you 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 don't care. You you still gonna go forward here. You still gonna move forward on 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 what you want what you pursuing here. Yes, the sun. See that? You destined for this success. It ain't nothing this person could do to to stop your shine. Right? It's like the more they pressure they try to apply to you, the harder you go, the more you shine through the hurt, through the pain. It's like at one point or another, you used to sit and let the words they say go to your head. It did used to affect you in a certain type of way that made you feel depressed, that made you feel like you ain't want to get up and do nothing. But now you become much, much stronger. You learn how to balance and um, what you focus on, right? What they words don't mean nothing to you no more right that pressure they trying to apply to you it ain't effective as it used to be right it's like they keep throwing daggers at you they keep talking to you crazy they keep trying to throw you off track and act like they support you and act like they there for you but they the very person who be trying to break you down and keep you distracted from your success Four of Cups, right? They want you to miss this opportunity. It's like they be right there in your face, staring you down, talking that shit, wanting to see you get up out of your hookup. Don't want you to see what's right in front of you. Don't want you to be creative. Don't want you to win. And it's like, why? Why this person don't want Pisces to win? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They don't want, they know you a master at something and they want to distract you from mastering your craft, mastering your divine um, gift. They don't want you to uh, figure it out. It's like they don't want you to figure something out. King of Swords, right? They think they smarter than you. They think they know you so well that they can take you off your game, right? Take you off focus. They feel like they could take you out. Some of you are just with the wrong person, somebody who doesn't respect you, right? The King of Swords is all about respect. This is somebody who don't respect you, right? This could be somebody who act like they single a lot. They act like, you know, um, or this could be you, Pisces, feeling like you in this all by yourself here with the Nine of Pentacles. Like, I can hold my own, Right? Or this somebody who wants you to solely depend on them, right? They don't want you to focus on your prosperity, your abundance. They want you to depend on them. They want you to respect them, right? Your, your rise, your, your um, success makes them feel like a failure. Your success makes them lose control over you, right? They know the moment you get right, get where you want to be, get your mind stable, start becoming more happy, start succeeding, start being recognized for the things that you do. They feel like they will eventually fade out. So they try to keep control over you so you don't win, so you don't gain, so you can always be dependent upon them. This is a hater, Pisces, and it's your partner. Four of Wands. Okay? But if you do win and you still with them, they're going to celebrate your victories as if they are the ones who helped you build it. Right? Because I feel like this person can't control you the way they used to. The words that they say to you don't hurt you as much as they used to. You becoming more stronger. You in your power. Right? And it's like every little dagger they throw at you to try to make you lose focus, to try to take you off your game, it's not really working. So they act like they support you, but at the same time, bring up everything that ever hurt you. But the moment you start winning and they realize they ain't going to be able to stop you, the moment you start winning, they going to act like they was the ones there to support you. Like they the reason you got where you going. I'm the reason you got this. I'm the reason you made it. I'm the one who supported you. I was the one who was in your corner every day. Right? That's the type of energy. So it's like this person, if they can have you fucked up, they will. But if they can't get you to be fucked up and you still win anyway, they going to act like they was the person who helped you get that right listen to your intuition when it comes to your partner i don't care how long you've been with this person 
Because that lovers, when I asked who, who is this person, the lovers came out. So I don't care who you dealing with, how long you been dealing with, how much in love you feel this is, however you feel they won't do, they the ones who doing it. Right? They manipulating you because they think they very intelligent. The king and queen of swords is out here. Right? Very intelligent people. But they also people who don't really give a fuck about what nobody feel. You understand what I'm saying? And for you, that's a dangerous situation because you all about emotion dealing with somebody who ain't got no feelings, no ceilings. Right? Who ain't got no limit to what they say out their mouth. Someone who gonna say what they feel and don't give a fuck if it's disrespectful or not. Right? But the moment you start winning, they gonna act like they the ones who helped you get there. Pisces, this the energy. I hope it resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see which chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, we got the sixth chakra, and it's the third eye chakra. Okay? And this one is relevant to mindfulness. Okay? I am aware of my thoughts. And I ask myself, are they uplifting and are they true? I do this because I know my thoughts significantly affect my mental, emotional, and physical health. And because I know that my body believes everything that I believe. I am not in control of all situations that come my way. Nor am I in control of others. Uh, nor am I in control of what others do and say. However, I do have free will as to how I respond. I choose to respond to all situations from an enlightened position rather than just reacting, right? Like I said, they don't have much more power over you anymore. Their words do not affect you anymore. And it used to. And they know that because they smart enough to know that, right? Listen, um... I, I am aware of my thoughts and I ask myself, are they uplifting and are they true? I do this because I know that my thoughts significantly affect my mental, emotional, and physical health, right? Because I know my body believes everything that I believe. So if this person dwelling in my head all my misery or talking to me crazy or treating me cold and detached from me, you know, it, it, I, how can I focus on what I'm here to do if I got somebody badgering me all day? You understand what I'm saying? So you regaining your power and they words mean nothing to you almost, right? They don't have enough power over you to stop you from shining because shining and being successful is part of your divine journey. So this person couldn't stop you if they wanted to. You couldn't even stop you if you wanted to because that's how powerful the divine is. Nobody's going to get in the way of what's faded. Nobody's going to get in the way of what's destined for you, but it can be delayed. It can be deterred. It can slow you down. So you got somebody in your energy, Pisces, that just don't want to see you win. And they feel like treating you bad and talking to you bad will throw you off your divine purpose. So mindfulness is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.